morning everybody just waking myself up got old blue ready to go we're gonna go load our freight and head on down to minnesota we're in ontario right now northwestern ontario way on the edge close to manitoba where i'm from in a town called T uh kenora <laughs> tenora in a town in a town called tenora town called kenora wow okay i need my coffee let's take care of that and then let's get this day going down through Ontario to Fort Francis cross into the US at International Falls Minnesota from Fort Francis Ontario and uh, we'll continue down the 71 on the other side of the border same highway number I believe we go down highway 71 until we reach highway 6 right and then 6 all the way down toward Brainerd ride today the way the freight is loaded I'm I'm legal like I'm not overweight but I've got more weight on my trailer than on my drives probably about a thousand more pounds so that means when the truck goes over a bump it's nice and smooth but then the trailer hits the bump and it clink, donkey kicks gives you a bit of a bumpier ride this way that's okay it's nothing we can do about it now
Crystal Falls has this, what I think is a big paper mill, just on their side of uh, the border. Kilometers. People from here can correct me if I'm wrong. I believe it's a paper mill, and it used to go on to both sides of the border, but they're completely dismantling the Canadian side. This border here is all under construction. I'm not too sure what they're uh, what they're doing exactly. But if you haven't crossed here before, it might be a little confusing. But there's signs. Just read the signs. You'll figure it out. that they have a random bowling alley in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I always chuckle at that when I go back. I mean, it's not middle of nowhere. Deer River is up the road here, but it feels like it's the middle of nowhere, right? I'm gonna shut her down in Deer River. I'm tired. I wanna get an early start tomorrow and get my schedule on the right track, going to bed early, getting up early. I know that goes against my natural way of living because usually I like to work late and sleep a little later, wake up after the sun's up already, right? But that's not exactly how business hours work. Turn left on. No, 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 Karen. Karen, don't get ahead of yourself. We're gonna turn right. You're wrong. Wrong. I'm gonna turn right and pull into the truck stop there and hope that, uh, there's a parking spot there for me. They only have like five spots here in town. I've always found parking there so far, but... Ouch. Just a short day today. Just a short little jog down to Deer River. About four hours. Got another hour and a half to do tomorrow morning. Uh, we'll get going bright and early and we'll be at the gate when they open up. Get this off my trailer and uh, find out what we got going on next. Maybe we'll go back up for another one. Maybe we'll go to Duluth. Maybe we'll go to Minneapolis. I don't know. The options are endless. I'm gonna get a good night's sleep tonight. It's not that cold, it's minus 11 Celsius. So we'll be able to shut Old Blue down and not worry about having to start it in the cold in the morning. It should be pretty good. We're on the downhill now towards spring. It should be easy going until then. Well, let's hope, let's knock on wood, but. Stop, fine. I'll stop. The whole loading process took way longer than I expected it to. Oh, I'm gonna go around the back. I could go in there, but.
There's a car look right behind me, isn't there? Where'd you come from, buddy? I'm turning right. Right down this little road here. drag my trailer through the ditch fantastic I've never done that again knock on wood but you see it on YouTube all the time right and I'm on YouTube all the time but I don't want to be on that YouTube you know don't want to end up on one of those videos look what trucker Josh did he put his trailer in the ditch <laughs> oh there's no one here again okay Well then, lots of room for me. There we go. Wonderful. Now that the snow has melted, you can see the lines. Perfect. Let's get right straight between them. Right? There we go. Beautiful. Make sure we're nice and straight. Okay, not too far forward, not too far back. There we go. Ah, what a day, eh? Come on, let's close you up here. You did good, old blue. You did good. I'm just gonna, oh, there you go. I'm just gonna let the government know that I'm done. I'm going to bed now. They gotta know when I'm sleeping make sure I don't stay up past my bedtime. They're very strict. Get in big trouble if I stay up past my bedtime. I'll also get in big trouble if I wake up too early and start working too early. They're very snoopy, very nosy. Both governments, Canada and the US, they wanna know what I'm doing 24 hours a day. Even when I'm at home, there has to be a log sheet, or in here it's online, there has to be a log page for every single day of my life. When I'm at home, it's just one straight line across off-duty. Off-duty, midnight to midnight. But I still have to show a record of that day. Every day of my life, the government is right in there. Just, just sniffing around, you know? Like a hound. So, one more thing we have to talk about today yet. And I'm going to bring it up a couple of more times as the time gets closer. As we get closer and closer to the birth of our baby, uh, I have to remind you that I'm going to be taking about six weeks off. My wife is having a C-section, so she's going to need a lot of help after uh, delivery uh, at home. She can't lift anything up, she can't pick anything up, she can't even pick up the baby herself until, you know, it heals. So I've got to be there, I've sort of got to do everything for her, and I'm, I'm happy to do that. And I'm excited to do that. It's going to be a great bonding experience. Uh, for all of us, all three of us, just to have us together at home for about six weeks. And we'll see how her recovery goes. Uh, hopefully she's a quick healer. If not, hey, we, uh, we'll just take whatever we, time we need to take until uh, I'm ready. she's ready for me to head off to work again. We also might have some family members that come stay with us so that I can get back to work because, you know, I, I can't stop working forever. I, I wish I could. But uh, I'll have to go back eventually, and if she's uh, still not healed up, probably we got some family members that'll come stay with us and, and help out. So we got that all covered. But the point I'm talking about now is <clears throat> there's going to be a lot of home time content coming. I did a poll on on Facebook and a poll on Twitter, asking all of you guys what you would rather me do. I know a lot of you, or some of you anyway, subscribe to my channel strictly for the trucking content. You know, I'm Trucker Josh. You want to see trucking stuff. 
but there's a lot more to me and this channel has never been in my mind a trucking specific channel it's not a trucking channel i just happen to drive a truck all the time and it's like my big passion in life it's what i love to do but there's a lot more to my life a lot more to what makes me trucker josh that includes my family and stuff outside the truck as well for those of you who don't drive truck and who are thinking of driving truck in the future I think it provides a great insight into what the lifestyle is like, not just on the road, but also when you go home and how you balance the two. So I like to include it all in one storyline. But seeing as there's, uh, I'm going to be off the road for several weeks, I asked you guys in the poll if you would rather me uh, do all of my, the, the baby vlog, baby content, family content on another channel. I have another channel called The Silent Trucker. I haven't posted on there in a little while. Uh, I, I plan to in the future. I really like the idea of just having like me not talking, just the sights and scenery and sounds of the truck. I like that idea. We also have a vlog channel called Next Chapter. That was sort of our family, family. I, I own several YouTube channels. This is my main one though. All the other ones are very small, like under, uh, under a couple of thousand subscribers, right? Uh, because I don't talk about them much and I don't send you guys over there very much because I have everything on this channel Trucker Josh Vlogs. So my question was should I do all of my family content on a separate channel and then when I get home sort of tell this vlog be like all right I'm gonna be home come find me over on this channel for all the home time content or should I keep it all together on this channel and continue the story of Trucker Josh all on this channel then what I can do is I what, I, what I've been doing already, if you go into my onto my main channel page, you'll click my username, go to my channel, go to my playlists. I have all of my videos in uh, a whole bunch of playlists. By year, if you wanna go see what I was doing in 2014, there's a whole playlist of all my videos from 2014. Same thing with you know 2015, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, all the way up till now for 10 years. We're in season 10 right now of vlogging every day. And there's videos from before that too. So I have like 11 years, at least 11, 12 years of content here on this channel. So what I could do is all the family content uploaded onto this channel because it's part of my story. It's what makes me Trucker Josh. It's not just me, it's my family too. And then I'll just be sure to uh, organize it into the home time playlist. That way, if it gets uploaded and you don't want to watch my home time videos, you can just scroll past it and, you know, just wait for the trucking videos. I just encourage you, please stay subscribed because I will be back in the truck in May, in the future. So if you don't like the home time stuff, please don't unsubscribe just because there's a bunch of home time stuff coming. Uh, the, the trucking stuff will return, but I do encourage you to stick around and Hang out with us as we hang out at home, as we welcome this new life and new miracle into the world. I'm beyond excited. It's our first baby. We're uh, learning lots. We're pretty much prepared right now. Uh, we have everything in place. Uh, I just have to set up the crib and stuff, but we don't need the crib for the first month or two anyways, I think. I'm just excited to hold a baby for the first time and just like all the emotions that'll flood through me. I can just imagine. I've heard it from other dads already too. And just thinking like the miracle of life, like a new human has entered the world. Like how, how did, how, like we know how it happened. Uh, it was an IVF baby. I was, I, I was involved. It was just that a doctor helped. Okay. I was there. I was there. Okay. It's got my genetics. He's already got my little chin. That's why I have a beard, because I have a very tiny chin. Looks it looks funny. Makes me look like a 14-year-old. Uh, from our ultrasound, it looks like baby has my little chin. So, uh, <laughs> the little mini me, I guess. Yeah, I don't know what to expect. But I am going to be vlogging. I don't know if it'll be every day when I'm at home. I'm gonna try. I wanna tell you that I want to post every day while I'm at home. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to but there will definitely be regular updates of what's happening. And of course there will be the meet and greet live stream where you guys get to meet baby for the first time. Uh, we're gonna reveal all the gifts that you guys have sent us in that live stream as well. We've already been getting, getting a few. We, we have everything we need for baby. We're doing fine, we're in a good spot. We don't need anything, but there's just no stopping some of you. <laughs> so 
We really do appreciate all that. Thank you very much. We're going to give you all a big shout out and thank you in that live stream. Other than that, just, uh, we're happy with you just tagging along, watching, being a part of our lives. That's all I ask for. Also, got to remind you guys of the warning. These scammers keep uh, commenting in my comment section. Doesn't matter how many of them I block. They just uh, keep popping up. They'll reply to you and say, hey, come find me on WhatsApp or come find me on Telegram. Or, hey, I've got a surprise for you. That's not me. Okay, they, they're stealing my profile picture and uh, trying to lure you into a trap of some. Don't, don't do that. I try to block them as soon as I see them, but uh, the internet's a wild place. So be internet smart, be smart. Look at the username, make sure it's my username. It's got the little check mark beside it. Click on the username, it should take you to my YouTube channel. While you're there, explore all my playlists. I got lots of videos for you to watch. I'd love to keep you right here in this channel. I'm not gonna send you away to a different page. That does not make sense. I'm not gonna take you from my page and say, go over to that page. You're already on my page. I want to keep you here. Right here on my YouTube page, all right? Right here, you stick around here as long as you want. You're welcome to stay here 24 hours if you want. Just, just keep watching videos. I've got thousands of videos for you to watch. Playlists have them all nicely organized. You got no reason to leave. Stick around right here on TJV. I, I got days of entertainment for you. You're bored sitting at home? Days, probably weeks, maybe a year of just straight TJV watching in the background. You know what, just put, put, put the playlist on with automatic play so that it'll just play video after video after video after video while you're, you know, making supper or something or just hanging out around the house or maybe you're in the shop. Yeah, just put Trucker Josh on, uh, put on one of the playlists. It'll just go through all the, all the videos for you. <laughs> See, that's the only thing I ask for. I only ask for you guys to stick around here on my page, uh, watch my videos, and uh, give me some feedback. You know? I, I like hearing from you guys, and I always take what you guys say to heart, and it influences me of how I go forward with future videos. Thanks for watching this today, everybody. I appreciate it. There will be a lot of home time vlogs coming in the future, giving you a proper heads up. So those of you who like that stuff, you're getting excited. Those of you who don't like that stuff, you know to just hang tight until May when we're back on the road. I'll see you guys all later. Thanks for hanging out all the way to the end.